Hello students, Vinaya ma'am here. Today, we are going to learn the basics of organic chemistry. What do you understand by organic chemistry? Organic chemistry basically deals with carbon compounds. Why carbon compounds are learned separately? Carbon is unique in nature. You find that carbon has the atomic number 6 with the configuration S2, 2S2, 2P2. So, the valence electrons become 4. And so, we say that carbon is tetravalent in nature. So, the first point is carbon is tetravalent. That means it has 4 valence electrons. And to satisfy the octet, it requires 4 more electrons. And so, it will form 4 covalent bonds. Second thing is carbon due to its small size. And high electronegativity compared to the other elements in the group, you find that it has a unique property of self-linking. This self-linking property is known as catenation due to which carbon can form a variety of long chains as well as rings. The next point is carbon compounds exhibit isomerism what do you understand by isomerism you find that compounds with the same molecular formula can exhibit different structural formula so the main reason why carbon compounds are learned separately is due to the occurrence of more number of compounds of carbon due to its tetravalent nature, due to its self-linking property called catenation and its property of isomerism. The first synthetic compound that was produced in the lab was prepared by Wooler by treating ammonium chloride and potassium cyanate leading to the formation of ammonium cyanate which undergoes rearrangement to form NH2CO NH2. This compound is known as urea. The simplest organic compound that is prepared from carbon and hydrogen is known as methane with the formula CH4. Carbon forms the central atom with four covalent bonds around it at an angle of 109 degree 28 minutes leading to tetrahedral structure. This tetrahedral structure was first identified by the scientist named Van Hoof and Van Hoof received the first Nobel Prize in Chemistry in the year 1901. So, 
Van Hoof is regarded as the father of organic chemistry. Methane has a tetrahedral structure with 109 degree 28 minutes and this was first identified by the scientist Van Hoof. So he is known as the father of organic chemistry. Coming to the Classification of Organic Compounds Organic compounds are divided mainly into two types. Open chain compounds or aliphatic compounds and ring compounds or closed chain compounds. In open chain compounds are included alkanes, with the general formula CnH2n plus 2, alkenes with the general formula CnH2n and alkynes with the formula CnH2n minus 2. Here you find that alkenes are saturated in nature whereas alkenes and alkynes are unsaturated with multiple bonds in the compound. Coming to the ring compounds, ring compounds can be of two types that is homocyclic as well as heterocyclic. Homocyclic compounds are those which contain carbon and hydrogen in them whereas heterocyclic compounds may also include some heteroatoms like nitrogen, oxygen, sulfur, etc. Both these homocyclic and heterocyclic compounds can be either alicyclic or aromatic. Alicyclic will behave like aliphatic compounds with no unsaturation in the compound whereas aromatic compounds are having unsaturation in it and they have strong aroma. We will briefly overview what is learned in 10 standard. Hydrocarbons are named according to their prefixes and suffixes as recommended by IUPAC conventions, International Union of Pure and Applied Chemistry. Those chemists have set up a rule that is IUPAC rule for naming the compounds or nomenclature of compounds. The prefixes are C1 is meth, C2 eth, C3 prop, C4 bute, C5 pent, C6 hex, C7 hept, C8 oct, C9 non, and C10 dec. These are the prefixes that are followed, whereas the suffixes are supplied depending upon what is the general formula. If it is alkane, the suffix will end with ane. And if it is alkene, the suffix will, will be yeni. And if it is alkyne, it will be y and e. We start with alkanes. Alkanes, the simplest one 
will have the central atom C1 and there will be four bonds around it with CH4. This compound is given the name meth and it should end with ane. So the name is methane. Next compound will be C2. H should be 6. So that the naming will be eth any. So it is ethane. General formula being Cn H2n plus 2, where n value is 1, 2, 3, etc. Coming to the next member, C3, what will be the number of hydrogens? It will be H8, and the name of the compound will be prop A. Similarly, C4 will have H10 and the name will begin with but and end with a. So this is butane. The next higher member is got by adding CH2 to the previous member and so the formula will be C5 H12. The naming will be pent a. C6 H14 will be hex A. C7 H16 will be hept A. C8 H18 will be octane. C9 H20 will be nonane and the last one C10 H22 is deck A. The simplest hydrocarbon here is methane with the formula C1H4. Structure being C H4. It has only single bonds around it, so this carbon will be sp3 hybridized. Similarly, the structure of C2H6 can be written as C. C H 3 and this side also this CH3. Each carbon atom is sp3 hydrogen.